Please note, this video is an amendment to my full-length review of the VictoryWorks J21 model. I recommend that you watch this full review before watching this amendment. Link to this video can be found in the description below. Hello folks, uh, it's Bruce again. This is a familiar view. Um, this is an amendment video to my main J21 review. Uh, I suggest you go watch that first before carrying on with this video. Um, further to what I said in the review of the different features on the loco, uh, there is one amendment I need to make there regarding to whistles and whistle sounds. Uh, it has come to light from a fellow viewer uh, and also a friend of mine who I speak to on a regular basis uh, that you can actuate different whistle uh, sounds by using a different key combination on your keyboard. Um, I will admit I completely overlooked that. Obviously, I didn't read the manual properly, so hands up, that's my fault. So I do wholeheartedly apologize for omitting this mistake. Uh, the second one is quite a major issue. Uh, this video will be short, so I'll give you the whistle samples shortly. Um, but there's two major issues that have just come to light in discussion with friends who are far more knowledgeable on these uh, sorts of things than I am. A uh, big, big, big issue with the cholesteries. Uh, there should be some guard ducats located about here, uh, long ones. Um, I'll get a bit closer. Long ones. So where the top of the hand is, should be ones that come from about here uh, and they extend all the way down in curvature down to the sole bar of the carriage. Um, and on top of that, the ends of the carriage is wrong actually um there should actually be two sets of two square windows should be uh well say square should be two rectangular windows like over here in the background on the um other carriages behind the g5 similar to that uh should be a rectangular window here and here where the hand is and also here and here um i haven't supplied any images in this video of real life comparisons but if you go to google and type in northeastern railway or ner cholesterol break you'll find plenty of photos within the first five rows that illustrate these missing details i'll just quickly click on the loco and i will just add some final thoughts further to my review oh helps if i can pause it there we go. So, we have the spacebar whistle, which is looped, the B-lit whistle, which is looped, which is obviously a sound which has been higher pitched to make that. Now, it's of a shift space or control space, we'll try it. No, it might be shift space. Oh. It might not be shift space. Ah, there we go. Control space, if you tap them together at the same time. There's another... Ah, there we go. So there are some different whistle samples. Um, and that can be activated by pressing control space. Uh, upon hearing them, it sounds like there's two slightly different sound sets of whistles. Um, some of the variants are shorter chunks uh, of the long spacebar looped whistle and it seems that some samples are off another whistle source um, like that one so now i've illustrated that to you i just want to quickly say um this changes the issue with the cholesterol is changes the review somewhat um positives are j21 it's not a class that we have had in training before uh, we finally got some gnr cholesteries um pre-order price was quite reasonable uh, we've got a lot of livery varieties on the locos to on the carriages minor point is um, in my video, as I pointed out, we've got problems with the texturing on the loco. Again, the comparison between the J21 and the G5. 
Um, it also seems upon further inspection, although I won't go into detail, uh, that the J21 model that has been released has been heavily uh, modelled on the preserved example, which obviously is not representative of all class members. So negatives are as follows. Texturing is okay, but could be a lot better. Uh, carriage textures as well uh, are also a bit off. Uh, also, the fact that it's extremely shiny on the roof. And as you can see here, uh, if you go full screen HD, you can see the mottling of large pixels, which is a real large put off um, compared to Gordon Max textures, which look a lot better. Um, on top of that, obviously, we've got the lack of ducats and windows on the back. Basically, it's just adding up to say that it feels like there's been a lack of research done. Uh, in order to produce this product, uh, which is a great shame. Uh, I suggest to people that you watch more reviews, you do a bit more research, uh, make your own conclusions and buy it if you want it. Um, personally for me, I am still very much hanging in the balance on whether to recommend it or not now. Uh, but I thought I would update you all with that small snippet of information. Uh, sorry that I had to make this video and I missed this information out, um, but again, thank you very much for watching and taking notice of this amendment. Uh, see you again next time, and uh, I don't know what I'll, I'll be reviewing or doing next, but uh, hopefully it won't be too long, so please take care.